MVC is playing a huge role in JavaScript development at the time of this recording. As a result, many, many JavaScript MVC libraries and frameworks have been released besides Backbone. In this video, I want to have a quick discussion about the MVC landscape in JavaScript, focusing on Backbone's benefits. MVC has a long history of solving programming problems. Programmers writing JavaScript developers have embraced MVC because of this, particularly when building single-page applications, which are commonly referred to as SPAs. SPAs Some of the earliest frameworks being Spine, Sprout Core, and the sensibly named JavaScript MVC. Now, again, these things just mentioned are JavaScript MVC frameworks. Backbone is a JavaScript MVC library, and that's a key difference. In the JavaScript MVC context, a framework usually means that you need to configure your code to get things done. Maybe you need to add some code to your HTML page or give a page element a certain ID or class name, but to get the framework to do its job properly, you need to configure things. A library in the JavaScript MVC context usually means that your library code has some pre-built functions that you can use to manipulate page content. You don't need to configure anything on your web page. You just reference a library's pre-built code in your JavaScript to get specific tasks done on your web page. This is quite similar to how jQuery works. Backbone is not the only JavaScript library. There are others, with Knockout being another popular one. And there are also other popular frameworks, with Angular and Ember being the most popular. Now, at the time of this recording, Backbone, Knockout, Angular and Ember are definitely the most popular JavaScript libraries and frameworks as far as JavaScript MVC goes. They have large communities behind them, books written about them, and lots of plugins written for them. I'll be completely honest and say that the frameworks can be easier to use than the libraries, and I want you to take a look at them when you can. But as this is a Backbone course, I'm going to point out the benefits that Backbone has when compared to these other options. Frameworks usually require you do things their way if you want to use them within your site or web app. You have to configure their code pretty much exactly as they tell you to, leaving little room for flexibility. works or catching up to Backbone, Angular in particular. But while Backbone wasn't the first, it was one of the first to become popular. It's because of this that the Backbone community is a more extensive in terms of community help, user groups, and having a wide array of plugins available to it. 